Hi, I'm Lori. And I'm Rick. And we are Here We Go Again Camping. Guys, thanks for joining us. Today we're going to bring to you a video of us visiting our local uh, dealership. And when I say dealership, it's not a car dealership, it's a camping dealership. Someone keeps searching for campers. And he has found a one year newer 2021 30F, 31F series Red Hawk that's comparable to ours. And he wants to go tour it. Yes. I wanted to see what differences there was between last year's model and this year's model. So stay tuned. We're getting ready to bring you that video. But please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that notification bell. And give us a thumbs up if you like this video or if you find it helpful. So stay tuned. Here we are. Here is the layout of the new 2021 uh, 31F series Red Hawk. Um, pretty much the same layout as what we have on the 2020 model. Yeah, I mean, there's not much, not really anything that changed with the layout. Shower size, everything was still the same. If you can see here from all the paperwork and everything on it, everything is pretty much the same except they actually have a V8 engine in it, which is actually supposed to be better on gas mileage yeah. so that i'm a little jealous about because yeah. ours is a v10 yeah it is this is a 7.3 liter so uh, it should be a big difference i think it's actually got a little bit more power i'm not 100 percent sure but i'd love to drive it we're not getting it oh but we walked <laughs> around here and as you can tell uh the storage capacity uh actual bays and everything is the same it's got a different door handle and the color scheme is a little bit different from what the 2020 is. Yes. Um, but as you can tell here, there's no uh, V10. Um, I have to say, I was a little jealous. I don't really know if we got it in the video, but the driver and passenger, there is much more leg room. Lord. There is. And I think that's because of the difference in the engine. Yes, there's a whole so. lot more room. And the uh, seats are more comfortable. The seats are a whole lot more comfortable. There was more leg room. And because of that, you'll see upcoming. Um, it's like a, a little surprise. A great feature that I am very jealous and really like. But the black and sewer tank, everything is the same uh, going around here. It's still one uh, si slide out on the one that, full slide out. Yes, uh, not very, not very wide you, as you can tell. But uh, everything's still the same. Still got the ladder. Uh, the towing capacity is the same. Still got the great. Uh, what 18 foot awning or some 20 foot something like that i'd have to look at the specs a little bit closer but yeah it still looks great they did upgrade the radio in this thank goodness because that was one of our downsides of the one that we have the the radio sucked it did so they have actually upgraded that and here is the feature that i absolutely love the gentleman is showing us here this is usually a class a thing they have finally made the seats that reverse around or turn around so that you can use it yeah. It, it, Which I think is wonderful. And they actually have a cushion that sits on it to have you sit up higher so that you're on the same floor plan as well. Yeah, I mean, the fact that you have more leg room and that you can sit and turn around and you've got more seating capacity is a fantastic feature in a Class C. Yes, it is. Uh, it gives more room for a family of our size. Yeah, and as you can tell here, the bedroom is basically the same. The color scheme has changed. That's about it. The Lord. countertops have changed. I think the yeah. coloring might be just a little bit deeper, if anything, but the countertops have changed somewhat. Yeah. Same shower, same uh, cabinets. There's actually the cabinet on the opposite side of the wall uh, as well. So there's not any more or less um, as far as storage in the bathroom is concerned. No, everything in the bathroom is pretty much the same, like we mentioned. I didn't look to see if they changed the shower head or anything. I didn't either. I didn't so, open it. I didn't open the shower to... I'm, maybe we should ask one of the kids because I'm sure they opened every cotton pig thing in I don't think they there. did. Okay. I, don't, I really don't think they did. Okay. But yeah, I mean, it's still the same land. I mean, the bunk beds is, you know, for us was a must. I really, you know... They didn't do any changing as far as that's concerned. No, they did not. However, I don't know if we'll actually get it on video or not, because you still have the drawers underneath the bunk beds. thing that I am missing 
was the storage underneath the table or the chairs of the table. At the dinette. At the dinette, yes. Yes, I remember you mentioning that. Because that actually does give you more. Because the pantry is still the same size as what ours is, which isn't very big. You still, the kitchen is the same as what ours is. The stove, uh, microwave, everything. But you lose the two drawers underneath the table and chairs, the dinette yeah. set. But I have to say, they they did do some changes with, the, it seemed like, the dinette. The dinette was much more comfortable. It was firmer. It was, you know, um, as far as that. But, you know, it, they did cover the fridge and the freezer. With the cabinetry. Right? With the yeah. cabinetry, which makes it a little bit nicer. But as Lori mentioned, the pantry was still the same, which really, it it's terrible. <laughs> in my opinion, but wait, hey, whatever. But here, as you can tell, here's the salesman trying to get the chair to turn around. It was not an easy thing to do. It wasn't. I think it would be easier the more often you do it. Plus, if he would have opened the door, yeah, I think it would have helped out some more. But you still have the bunk bed over top of the uh, cabin. And these cushions actually come off, which I love. Yeah. yeah. It makes it so much easier. Our cushions don't come off. So I, I like that. I like that look as well because digging for the belt and everything. So in closing, Lori, I don't really think, uh, I like the changes that they made, but I don't think as far as the price point, I don't think it was worth it because this was about thirteen dollars to $14,000 more than what we actually gave uh, for our Class C. So the plus sizes is the engine yes. for the fuel mount or the miles per gallon and then the turning seats and the radio. Yeah, but I don't think that's worth the big price point. But kudos to uh, Jayco for making these changes. I think yes. they're listening to people and their complaints. And uh, kudos to them. Big thumbs up. So campers, uh, in today's environment with all the craziness that's going on, we thought you all could use a good laugh. Uh, so here's some bloopers. Go ahead and laugh at Lori and I because uh, we're hilarious. Hi, I'm Lori. And I'm Rick. And we are... I was going to say something... Wrong! Match me in I just got done watching them. Hi campers, thanks for stopping by and checking out this video, but give us a thumbs up. Why are you lying? Laughing. I thought that was a great presentation. I did not know he was going to say that. I hate doing videos Hi campers. If you'd like a job doing videos with me, it pays about Three children. Wait, what? Hi, campers. <laughs> I'm sorry. Cut I'm hot. Stop. Okay, stop Cut. it. Hi, thanks for stopping by and checking out our video. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video or if you found it helpful. If you click over here, you can check out subscribe. See? Hello, campers. Thank you for stopping by and checking out our video. Give us a thumbs up if you like it or if you found it helpful. But you could subscribe to our channel by clicking over here. Or if you'd like and see one of our previous videos, you can click up here. Or if you want to check out our apparel shop, click down here. Yeah, we really appreciate all the support and thank you for watching. And until next time, safe travels and God bless. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.